Scientists around the world are trying to understand the coronavirus and the way it spreads in communities. Shortly before a surge in infections prompted Greece to impose a second coronavirus lockdown in early November. Chemists say at a wastewater treatment plant had already warned that a tougher restriction would likely be necessary. But how did the chemists predict the second wave of coronavirus infections? They did an analysis of sewage from the capital Athens and the chemists daily collected the sewage and studied it at the University of Athens to determine the level of viral load and, the, and expected the COVID-19 infections in the community. Some weeks before the second total lockdown for the entire country, we observed a really high number of the viral load in wastewater samples. Also, after some weeks of the total lockdown, we observed a really important decrease on the viral load of SARS-CoV-2 in wastewater samples that reflected that restrictions were really, really important for all the population. Greece fared better than most EU countries during the first wave of the pandemic but has seen a rapid rise in infections since October, forcing it to impose a second nationwide lockdown in early November. Chemists doing the analysis say that the wastewater-based epidemiology is a non-invasive tool to monitor the pandemic by calculating the real number of infections, both of symptomatic and asymptomatic people. Since its first COVID-19 case was detected back in February, Greece has seen over 130,000 confirmed infections and 4,044 related deaths.